Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. We are going to continue our Bloodstain Curse of the Moon gameplay with level 3. Now that we actually have Alfred, we can actually move on and try out this uh, brand new character. Now, uh, Alfred is actually a wizard magician, I would say. And so he's definitely not the most powerful character. Okay, uh, but what he's really known for is his actual magic. Okay, so you see what I mean. So let's use this one right there. So his magic's pretty powerful. But as you could probably tell, he doesn't have a really high health meter. And so he's probably not going to be your go to character for the most part because obviously you can't take too many hits. <laughs> and I'm almost dead right there. So. What I, what I probably do with Alfred is I'll just use him in situations where the other characters don't have a lot of energy. And at the same time, some of Alfred's magic does come in handy, especially if you want to go through levels that require, uh, you know, uh, oops, that require you to actually jump a lot. And so with actual enemies flying at you, that makes it really difficult. So that's when I found that Alfred helps the most. Let's see if I could get a heart. So I wish his power, his actual energy meter was further. And his attack power, as you probably saw, it's it's weak. And at the same time, it doesn't reach very far. Boy, I hate those enemies right there. Boom. Well, she's almost dead herself, so... And Zengetsu, he has the highest health bar. So he could probably take the most hits out of all the characters. And so you have multiple places you could go, so I'm going to try going down this way. Who knows if it's harder or easier. Whoa. Okay. I might die just trying to get through this. Oh, I just died. Hmm. I wonder why they made that so hard. Okay, so I'm probably thinking that maybe that one requires more power. These other ones are pretty easy. Alright. I'm really curious as to what's down there. Man, those enemies are really hard to avoid. Alright. Maybe I won't risk it this time because I do not have enough energy to make it. So let's just go through here. Let's go to the safe route. So, in cases like this, I might need Alfred because we have enemies everywhere flying around. Good, I got a heart. Oh, there it is. See, so that's where it comes in handy. Oh, except I died. Oh, man. Well, I didn't expect that. Okay, so the only character I have left is Miriam right now. Oh, boy, I hate the knife. Not what I wanted. I'm gonna try to bust through this. Okay, so every time you hit them... Whoa, wow. You gotta take two hits. Okay. Got it. I'm just gonna fly through this. Okay. Whoa. I cannot die here. Hmm. And only Miriam could go there. And you can see how these branching paths, it's gonna be pretty awesome later on because some of these levels I won't be able to see unless I come back to it with either a character that can go there or I might need some more power or health. Alright, I think I got extra extra life. Boom. That's what I like about Miriam, she has such long reach with her weapon. That helps a lot. 
And I hate these bats. Actually, I hate a lot of these enemies because they're such pains in the butt. Bat. I'll just... Oh man, that's not the weapon that I wanted. Okay. Whatever. Alright. Oh man. Oh boy, you gotta time those right. Alright, let's try that again. <laughs> boy, this stage is definitely not an easy stage. I probably died more times in this stage than any other stage. So far. So I'm gonna stick with Miriam. She's got the power. Ooh. The reach. Okay. You know, as you play these stages over and over, you just memorize everything. And it becomes way easier after a while. Damn. I wonder what it's like to be a game designer. Like, to design something specifically, you try to figure out what's the most difficult way to make the game without being so frustrating that you stop playing. That's an art form. Okay, so I'm gonna give this another shot. So let me see if I could... Yeah! There it is. So let me see if that was worth it. Come on. Oh, oh, no, man. I missed it. Okay. Couldn't quite make it. I actually like this. This particular weapon. Alright. Boom. So you do gotta time those as hacks. Yep. Hmm. Alright, these jumps. Jumps gotta be timed. Boy, I hate these stages. Boom. Alright. Platforming is not my strength. Oh. But that helps a lot. Yeah. Whew. Okay. Looks like I'm getting closer, hopefully. And this stage for some reason reminds me of the I guess the Egyptian type stage from Super Mario Brothers 3. I don't know why. It just does. Oh, great. That's exactly what I needed. Boy, that helped. Helped a whole bunch. And I like how the developers made this to where, you know, you really do have to watch how you play, especially in this veteran mode, because if you don't, you know, you might not be able to uh, pass this stage. Okay. I'm not sure what this is. Oh, great. It actually increased my my life bar so that's perfect for Alfred and that's the thing if you play this game you might miss some items you know uh, if you don't really go through each of the stages and even gets to the point where you know you have to have some of these new abilities or different characters in order to access places that you couldn't so if you weren't able to act those access those places you might miss these really Important power-ups. All right. What do we got here? The boss. Check this out. That's a lot of money. That looks so sweet. Definitely something that the uh, Nintendo could not have done. <laughs> well, it probably could have done it. It just wouldn't have looked as cool. Tell you what. I'll tell you what's cool. Me whipping your face. Man, her reach is just amazing. This would be a lot harder if I didn't have this character. Ooh. Because her reach is so... Yeah, she has a long reach. Alright, so let's see what we got. Oh, well, he's mad. What do you got? What do you got? Can't hit me. Oh, he just hit me. Alright.
Okay, it's time to switch. I don't have enough energy. And I'm thinking Zengetsu, he probably has the most powerful hit. Uh, but he does have to get close. But man, boy. Sure doesn't beat Miriam when it comes to attack right there because she would have easily got a hit on him. Okay. I gotta make this count. Okay, that didn't count at all. Alright. Okay. Alright. Okay, I'm gonna get him this time. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, yeah. Boy, he's really raining down the money. Yeah. Sweet. Guess what I got? The last character. Who could it be? Alright. So. Let's see who we got. Now, one thing that's really interesting though. You can actually kill these extra characters. I'm not going to do that. So, you know, that means you have one less character. I'm not sure why you would do that, but. There might be a reason. So who do we have here? It's Alucard. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> Let's see what his name is. All right. Gebo. Oh, yeah. So that is the final additional character that we have to our team. And as you see there, that looks so much like Alucard, which it basically is. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be sweet. All right. So this is level four, and after level four, it'll be the final level. And uh, we'll actually get to play around with Gebel uh, once I play this stage on another episode. And so that is it for this particular episode of Bloodstained Curse of the Moon. If you had any thoughts in this at all, or uh, you know, even your own experiences with this game, be sure to leave it in the comments area below. And as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you wanted to support my channel further, you could do that at patreon.com forward slash geek outdoors. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you actually wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then join my Go Content Creators Group where you would get access to 30 free videos and more continuing content for all their creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is all of this is free. All you have to do is simply go to the link below, head over to our page, and join my Go Content Creators group. Thanks a lot, and I will see you on the other side. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com, and I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.